Edward Snowden, former government contractor in hiding in Hong Kong after accusing the National Security Agency of systematically spying on Americans, has been charged with espionage and theft of government property. Snowden is believed to be in Hong Kong, which could complicate efforts to bring him to a U.S. federal court to answer charges that he engaged in unauthorized communication of national defense information and willful communication of classified communications of intelligence information. In addition to those charges, both brought under the Espionage Act, the government charged Snowden with theft of government property. Each crime carries a maximum sentence of 10 years in prison. U.S. officials allege Snowden's revelations have caused substantial damage to American intelligence collection. Bringing Snowden to trial could be difficult because China has made no clear declaration on whether it would agree to extradite the American from the Hong Kong territory or give him asylum as a political refugee. Strong Hong Kong public opinion that the city is an island of democracy in otherwise authoritarian China could, likewise, complicate U.S. efforts to bring Snowden to trial. I think, I think everybody is spying on everybody and everybody knows that he's the only one speaking up. So honestly, I don't, I don't have an opinion either way whether that's the right or wrong thing, but um, you know, good luck to him and you know, I admire him what he did. An extradition agreement between the United States and Hong Kong accepts political offenses from the obligation to turn over a person, but there is also an agreement to hand over fugitives. Hong Kong police have avoided saying what they plan to do about Snowden. Reportedly, Snowden is considering Iceland if he cannot find sanctuary in Hong Kong. An Icelandic businessman has said he would be glad to send a private jet if necessary.